Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Well, today we have another cool weapon for you. Now, this one is a boss killer. We're talking about the Widowmaker. This is a rare iconic weapon that you can easily pass up if you don't say the right thing during a certain mission. But I got you covered. Hopefully, you haven't did this mission yet. Now, in the story mission called Ghost Town, towards the end of the mission, you have an opportunity to go after Nash. First off, I just want to ask you this question. I went with let her take the driver's seat because she seemed like she kind of wanted it. I'm not sure if you say no and you stay in the driver's seat, if any of the other dialogue options will happen. Okay, now there is another crucial thing that will happen when you talk to Pan Am. I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Okay, here's the dialogue option. Nash Hunt wasn't part of the deal. Let's do the street deal first. You want to raid the base? Are you out of your mind? And okay, so where's the side out? So a couple of those I'm sure will lead you off into a whole other direction. I'm not sure where that exactly will lead you. So I would say let's go after the base. Because if you go after this dude, this rifle that he leaves behind is a beast. It is a boss killer. Now it's going to lead you up into this cave right here now inside of this cave you're going to be facing off against waves and waves of enemy now after you take out all of these waves of enemy you'll have an opportunity to pick up some of the loot one of those loot drops is nash's rifle now i almost passed this up tell you the truth i was kind of lucky i even picked those dialogue options so here we go after you take out all of those enemies like i just said previously you want to head upstairs. Now, upstairs is going to be where Nash Rifle is. Now, mind you, I've been over in this location before, before I started this mission. It wasn't over here. So, this is a definitely drop in this mission. That's the only way you can get this. This is a tech precision rifle. The Riddle Maker. A rare, iconic drop that you get right here in Cyberpunk 2077. So, let's have a look at this iconic weapon and why I believe it is a boss killer. First off, let's look at the DPS. The DPS is not bad, it's a tech weapon, and it also has some nice chemical damage, charge time, charge multiplier, poison as well, and this is Nash's rifle. Now, this is a special weapon. Now, if you look at the text down below, it says Nash's rifle. Looks like he won't be needing it anymore. Fires two projectiles per shot and deals chemical damage with an increased chance to apply poison charge shots. Deal more damage. Also come with a scope and a mod slot as well. So, yeah, it is a beast. And it is a boss killer. It actually saved my tail when I was facing off against one of these bosses. I'll show you right now. Now this is Sandaya Oda, spoiler alert. So this is a boss fight and he is formable. I have a video coming later on, show you some of the different drops that this guy got. Anyway, look, this dude dodges most of your bullets. You can't hit him with your sword, but you can't hit him with a shotgun. And you can use this weapon as a shotgun and it also has that lingering damage. So when he disappears, you can easily track him down. Mwah beautiful weapon and it is a beast so there you have it ladies and gentlemen another iconic weapon guy for you hopefully you didn't pass this weapon up but if you did that's what a second playthrough is for you know what i mean but for right now that's pretty much gonna do it for the video hope you truly enjoyed this once again if you are new to this channel hello and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at carpool gaming i do upload a wide variety of videos range from updates tips tricks glitches guys news videos and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this cyberpunk 2077 video link down below one more day for the demon soul giveaway and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later